Hi! In previous videos I have shown you how to write a driver for a PCI device which is emulated by QMU. I called this device Echo Device and we have written a driver for it which is capable of handling multiple devices from this Echo Device type. And here you can see the call which I've used for testing. So I've compiled a Linux kernel for ARM and a root file system for ARM and I'm using QMU system ARM to test the whole system and here I'm adding some devices to my PCI bus so I'm adding three echo devices here. And our driver is quite good. We have already implemented IO control and memory map. We create a character device and we are allocating some um, major and minor device numbers but one thing we have to do manually till now. So after loading the driver we have to create device files manually for this driver. So I always have to run make not echo uh, dev echo zero and I want to create a device for a character device file, major number 64, minor number zero, and then I have the link to my driver and I can communicate with it by user space. And today I want to show you how you can automate the creation of these device files. So basically there are two ways. One way is you could create these device files over UDEV within your kernel module. And I already did a video showing you how to do this. I will put a link in the description. Or the second option you have is you could write a bash script which will create the device files for you and then you will just call this bash script on startup. Okay, cool, but how can I find out how many echo devices are present on my system? Well, the answer is LSPCI. If I am executing an LSPCI, I can check which PCI devices are available on my system and every PCI device has a unique vendor and a device ID. For example, my Echo device has the vendor ID 1234 and the device ID beef. Okay, so what I could do is if I use grep here and if I'm creeping for the vendor and the device ID, it will only list me the echo devices available on my system. So free in this. Yeah, example. And with the word count command and the minus L for lines option, I can yeah, I can count how many lines these output um, creates. And yeah, of course, these are free because we have free echo devices available on my system. And of course, I can also save this in a variable. I will name cards here. So I'm just put, putting this. So I'm storing the free now in this cards variable. And what I could do now is I could start a loop from zero to two and I create the corresponding device files. Okay, but how can I do such a loop? Well, therefore we need the second command. This command, for example, if I'm passing a five here, will count from, from one to five for me. And if I'm passing a two here, it will count from two to five. Cool. And of course, I could also say, please count from zero to cards. This will count from zero to three. But, I, but as I want to start with my device files from zero, I just want to have these three prints. So how could I get them? Well, therefore, we have to do a little bit of arithmetic. And what we can do for this is um, a dollar sign and two opening braces, then cards. And we want to um, subtract a one from it. So with this, we will get the number zero up to two, which is exactly what we need. So now we just have to create a loop, which um, for card in sec zero up to cards minus one, do echo card, done. And now you can see it will also count from zero to one. But now instead of the echo, what we could do is we can just uh, write or we can create our device file here. So I want to create a file in slash dev and I want to name it echo and then the number. It should be a character device file, major number 64 and minor number card. So this created 
echo 0, echo 1, echo 2 in my device folder. And for example, let me check if I've loaded the driver, but yes, it's loaded. If I execute bar 0 test, for example, um, and then I write to a def echo 1, and I want to get the random number here. You can see this is working, and this is working for all three um, yeah, device files. Cool. Okay, now the last thing we have to do is we have to put this into a script and we have to call the script on startup. Therefore, I will quit out of QMU and I will navigate into the folder in which I have my root file system. Okay. And under user bin, I will create a new file. I will call um, echodev.sh. Okay, so first with this, I'm telling it which interpreter I want to use, which is bin is h here. Then once again, I'm just creating this calls variable and it should be lspci grep one, two, three, four, beef, and then word count minus l for lines. And then I can do the for loop, so for cards in, sec, zero up to cards minus one, and then do make not def echo chord character device file major 64 minor chord done. And that's it. All I have to do now is I have to give it um, execution permissions. Okay. And then I will edit the file in etc. Um, or I will copy this path here. And then I will go into etc initdrc.s. This file is called automatically on startup. And in here I'm just passing the path to my bash script I want to execute and then it should be executed on startup. So let's um, compress our root file system. Let's navigate back into our QMUs folder and let's try this. So let me run this. Okay, and now if I take a look into the dev folder, you can see, hey, our device files are here. And if I just adding two echo devices, it should also work. So let's test it out. Cool, it's working. So that's how to automate the creation of device files with a simple bash script. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee and buymycoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.